Welcome to Wikicode Quickies. In today's video, you're going to learn five ways to center a div. As always, my name is NoraBM and let's get started with the video. Now, centering a div is a task that every web developer has to do at one point or another. It seems like it should be a simple task to do, but it's actually a bit tricky. So here are five ways to center a div. For those of you who want to follow along with the code and code along, I just created a simple index.html file with a boilerplate a h1 for a title and then a div which has a class of parent within it it has another div with a class of child and then some text to it now for the css we have our body our h1 styled here the parent and the child element for those of you who don't want to code along just follow along the diet code is down in the video description you could just download it and use it later on okay so let's get started with number one which is using text align property for this we're going to target the parent which is the main div and just add a text align to the center which will then center whatever is in the parent element all of the children of course next up we'll be using the margin property now another way to center a div is to use the margin property you can set the margin property of the child div to auto but that's a bit tricky because actually first of all you need to set the dimension of the child element. So I'm going to use height of fit content and width fit content. You could use whatever height or width you want, but without these properties, as you can see here, if you count them out, the margin auto will not work. We're just adding our margin top and bottom of zero and left and right auto, which should center it, but we do need to give this div a width property. Usually fit content will be the best way to do it. Next up will be to use the Flexbox system. Flexbox is a powerful layout tool that makes it easy to center elements. You can use justify content and align items to the center in order to display the children of the parent element as center by using the Flexbox on the horizontal axis, of course. Next up will be the grid system. CSS grid is another powerful layout tool that can be used to center elements. After adding the display to grid, you can use the place item property to center the div both horizontally and vertically in the parent div. Now, finally, you can use absolute position to center a div, but there's a little trick to it. In order to use position absolute, you first need to target the parent element and position it relative. Only then can children within the element, within the parent element, be positioned as absolute. See, if I comment this out, it doesn't work. And then use top, bottom, left, right, and then also the transform property in order to position elements in the center of the parent element. So these are just a few ways you can center a div in CSS. Each method has its own advantages and disadvantages. So choose the one that works best for your specific situation. Centering a div in CSS can be tricky as you can see, but with the right tools and techniques is definitely possible. Whether you're using text align, margin, flexbox, the grid system, or absolute positioning, there are plenty of ways to get the job done. Experiment with different methods and see which one works the best for you and leave it in the comment sections down below. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with others, subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell in order to don't miss new videos when they're coming out. With this being said, I'm NoRBM, wishing you happy coding. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.